Hey guys! <laughs> so, everyone wants to know how I make my music videos. Well, today, I'm going to show you from start to finish on how to do that. You are going to need a few things. You are going to need editing software. In this tutorial, I am going to be using Adobe Premiere Pro, but you can use CapCut, which is free software, or other alternatives. We are going to be using AI platforms, OpenArt AI, and Musicful. Now, in the description below, you can use my link to sign up to each platform and use my discount codes to get a percentage off. Use Syncing AI for 10% off OpenArt AI and SA5 for 5% off Musicful. Right, so you're here? You have everything ready? Then let's begin. First, we are going to be using Musicful to generate our song. And remember, SA5 for 5% off. First style of music, we're going to go with pop, R&B, and sad. Then under lyrics, hit write lyrics for me. And we are going to write a random song about a girl that has lost her phone, all her memories of everything recent over the last few years, all gone, contacts gone, pictures of her mother, now gone. <sighs> then we click write lyrics. Okay, we have our lyrics, select our gender as female and hit create song. Okay, there they are. Now let's preview them. Pocket empty, just lint and dust. No weight of connection, no one to trust. My history's erased, like ink in the rain. Okay, I'm going to go with the second one, then I'm going to hit the three dots and get stems. We can now hit extract under vocal and instrumental. Okay, so now we are going to go over to Open Art AI. And remember, use code Syncing AI for 10% off. So we're going to hit character. Then you can either start a new character or select a previous one. I have a video on my channel regarding creating consistent characters. Anyway, we are going to use Holly. Now we're going to enter the prompt, walking down a street. It is raining. There are people around. Close up shot, her looking into the camera. She is wearing a long white winter coat and there is a Christmas feel all around. It is nighttime. Set the output size to cinema and then we are going to hit create. Okay, I like them. Now I'm going to just generate some more. I'm going to speed up this part. Okay, we have our images and now we are going to use camera angles to create more images from our current ones we have created. Okay, so first we are going to select our image, hit upload, then history, and select the image we want to create angles for. 
Then, we are going to turn this cube to the left and click Create. Perfect! Let's choose another one, this one, and we are going to move this all the way to the left and hit Create. Okay, it's looking good. Now I'm going to speed up the video again whilst I generate some more. Okay, now it's time to create a project in our editing software. I am using Adobe Premiere Pro. So first, I'm going to create a project and choose a location, name the project, and hit Create. Next, I'm going to drag in our stems we extracted of the vocals and instrumentals and apply them to separate tracks. Now I'm going to go to Sequence Settings and set the aspect ratio and hit OK. OK, let's listen. What we are going to do here is set a marker at where we would like the first clip of our video to start and end, as we are going to export audio to use for our lip syncing. So I'm going to select, hit and add marker. Now I'm listening for when I want it to go to the next clip, and I'm going to add another marker to mark the end of that segment. No weight of connection, no one to trust. Then if we hold shift and drag your playhead back to the first marker, it will snap on. And then we hit I, and then drag the playhead to the end marker and hit O. This now gives us a region of what we would like to save, as well as replicate for other segments if we wish to, which on this occasion, I am going to. But just shorten this one a tiny bit. Okay, so I'm going to speed up the video again whilst I add the markers where I would like them to be. Okay, all my markers are done, and I'm now going to hit I on the first marker and O on my end marker as I would like to export this segment as an audio file. So I'm going to go to File, then Export Media, and set the format to MP3, and choose my location, and name the audio file V1. So then this way, I can keep track of each segment, and then hit Export. Now do this for all your segments you have created, like I am doing now. And when it is done, you will have a folder that looks like this with all the segments you have created. Now we go back to Open Art AI and we want to click Lip Sync Video. Then we are going to choose one of the images we generated as our first image and then drag V1 Audio Clip into What Will They Say? Then we enter a prompt on how we would like the video to process. Keep in mind, AI sometimes is not 100% and may take multiple tries but getting what you are looking for. You have to be detailed with your prompts to get that final render that you want. Okay, now we are going to hit Create. Okay, let's preview it. Found my pocket empty Just went in dust Okay, great! Now let's create some overlays, which are clips to fill in gaps where we do not want singing and just a sequence to happen. So I'm going to use this image and just type a prompt that will have the camera zoom into her. Okay, so I'm going to do our second clip lip sync now, but using both models in the drop down under model. Open Art Lip Sync and then Omni Human 1.5. Now the credits for Omni Human are a lot more expensive than Open Art's model, but the results are incredible. I will show you a comparison. And on this occasion, we are going to use the lip sync using Open Arts Omni Human 1.5 model. My history's erased. 
See what I mean? Okay, we now have our video clips. Name them the same way you did with your audio files to help you along this process. It's time to start putting together the music video. First, we want to drag all our videos into Premiere Pro, and then drag out V1 of our video clips and line it up with the marker that we create for our first segment. And then we want to scale it to fit the window and then hold Alt and use your arrow keys with the clip selected to finalize the lip sync. And once you hear the sound change, then you are perfectly in sync. Then separate the audio from the video clip and hit delete on the audio or silence it. Now we are going to do the same with our second clip. We are going to add transitions to each end to give the video a faded feel. Perfect! Now we want to drag in one of our overlay video clips we created and place it above the clip you would like it to be in between, like I am doing now. Line it up until you are happy with it. Okay, we need a title. So I'm going back to open art, hit create image, and then I'm going to type title text, gone. I want it to be 3D text with a Christmas feel, but also despair and snow. Change to aspect to widescreen and hit create. Now we're going to turn this into an intro. So let's select the image, and then click Use Image and Image to Video. Now, type a prompt of how you would like your title to look and hit Create. <laughs> I have to say, that is very funny. But hey, we're going to use it. Now, we drag in the title and place it and add some transitions, and our title is in. Now, Everything I have shown you, do the same for all your video clips you have created. And then you will have a final result that looks a little something like this. Pictures of a smile, the ones I held tight. 
Well, for a tutorial music video, I think that looks beautiful. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for helping me get to where I am today. And I am so grateful for every second of every day I get to create content for you guys. Links in the description below for Open Art AI and Musicful, as well as other platforms that I am affiliated with. Please don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. Once again, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial, and thank you all for coming to see me. Happy holidays, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah.